What is up guys, DJ Independence here. As you can tell by the title, we're farming up supplies for the Volt Prime I have gotten. I need circuits and polymer bundles. So we are on Venus doing some missions. It's not too hard. And I'm using a Torrid. It's probably one of the best guns in the game. It's just, when you start out with it, you have 500 toxin. And when I first started out, I probably had anywhere around level 10 and 20 is dead within one shot. The only downside to this weapon is it has five rounds in a clip. It's five rounds per clip. You gotta reload it. The reload time is three, which is slow. And it has like a one something fire rate. That is the only thing about this gun that is, you know, downside. Other than that, it takes out enemies so quickly. Like, it, you just can't, I can't believe it. I also suggest if you guys do not have Atlas, get him. Um, in this video, I do show you what the hell all of his stuff does. You know, in case you don't know, you can get him on the market. People farm it, I guess, somehow. Or, um, you can just do the Jordis mission, which gives you the blueprint, and I guess you just gotta buy all the other parts or do whatever you need to do. But as you see, right here is where I'm gonna show everybody. I'm just breaking open these containers. So, like, I'm talking about, like, the first mission right there, but what you just saw right there, that turns your enemies to stone. Like, as long as you do it, like, it doesn't end as, it goes on forever, as long as you have energy. But, yeah, you do that, and, like, it oh, just, like, constantly turns your enemies to stone. Then you can un, you know, do it, and then just start shooting them or slashing at them or whatever. These guys really cannot touch me, as you can see <laughs> in this clip. I'm like going beast mode. Of course, I got my shade turning me invisible. I also, you know, suggest the shade. You know, you can get these things in the blueprint store. They do cost some credits, but it is definitely worth it. I think I showed my next move up here after I get more energy because I was out. Oh yeah, alright, it's right up here. Sitting here awkwardly, silently waiting. Dun 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 <laughs> Alright. So the next move is tectonics. As you see it can perform a wall, hide behind it, it and traps enemies so they can't get through, and then you can just hit the same buttons and everything. It's that is uh R one and square. The uh what uh parallel Purify whatever, purify whatever it is that turns the enemies to stone. That is R1 in circle. And then I'm about to show you guys the last move. And this one is R1 in triangle. Now this one, basically, like it works for everything. You, the better your, you know, your mods are. Like for this Atlas, you need like flow and stuff. But here's rumblers. You know they're. Uh, depending on what you put on it, they become bigger, they become smaller, but you know, f stuff like flow and uh, continuity and stuff like that make it to where they last longer, they're bigger, you know. So I suggest everybody trying to go get prime flow or prime continuity. It, it's only found in like the void trade trader or like um, you can go in a trade chat and find it. It is, um, it does cost a lot when you go trade with people because it is primed. But, yeah. 
and then up ahead and I think it's up ahead I show you guys the actual first move I never got to show you guys cuz like I wasn't near enemies or nothing but I'll show you what that does in just a second I'm pretty sure I was like at this point in time in a video I'm like oh my god I'm farming way too much I'm just doing nothing I gotta start killing so I started like ignoring all the stuff and worrying about things like as soon as I uh, you know realize I don't want to make this video as long so I start killing and as you see I just like stop and like eh screw it this is where I show the move right here this one is R1 and X as you see there <laughs> level 19 torrid okay I guess this isn't where I show you guys I thought it was my bad it was just like pre-recording everything on this video cuz like I was gonna record myself talking throughout the video but I forgot and I just still wanted to post the video because I thought it was useful as you see I'm just shooting random shit because I'm bored but if you're like in void missions or something don't be just shooting random things like how I keep shooting all them like cameras or whatever you want to call them with it if you have this gun switch to your like secondary that way you know you save ammo because it is time consuming well not time consuming but the um ammo you know it's just like really valuable <sighs> pardon me I hate these alarms right here they're just like so annoying locks all the doors and everything you can't get through S sucks ass okay I think this is now where I show you guys I could be wrong again <laughs> come on hell maybe I showed at the end of this video I don't even know Oh, yeah, here it is. R1 and X, this is what it does. The more you hit enemies, it multiplies and does more damage. It is very useful. I mean, I use it on, like, the heavy gunners, and it just, like, ugh, knocks them down, knocks them down, knocks them down. And it really doesn't take a lot of energy to use either. So if you guys, you know, just want to just spam that and punch the shit out of people, you can. Now, I don't use, um... Oh, shit, keep yawning, my bad. Um, I don't use the necessary melee weapon for the Atlas, the Tekos, you know, because it's more like a combat weapon, like you run up and punch them. I don't use it just because, you know, I like range of my weapon, and I just, I don't, it's just not for me. So I, you know, I still use my Broken War, it's like the best melee weapon in the game, or at least the second best at most. Yeah, as you guys see, I sped up the mission a lot. <laughs> I couldn't believe I got that. It's just, it was weird. But, alright, guys. I'll be back, and when this mission's over and stuff, I'll be back in my headquarters. I'm going to show you guys um, some things that are also like the disadvantages for the Torrid. That's an easy fix, and some things like that. So, yeah.
Alright, I'm back guys, as you can see, so we're going to go check out the Torrid. And I hear I was like starting to talk about it, or wanting to talk about it, but then I realized I had to show you guys something first. So like, as you see here, you see all the like the check marks and stuff, and like basically it reduces your like captivity size mod, like for instance the split chamber is 8, right, to where if you like don't use this, it like is 16 and it eats up a lot of your captivity so you have to make sure you have these on there so that's why you have to like polarize or uh, form of your suit this is like all dojo weapons see like how there's like no green or nothing like you just literally have to build this gun from scratch but as you can see I have split chamber serration and infected on there I have 3,030.5 damage, and that's like just barely anything. I have an Orkin Catalyzer and everything on it, so I still have a lot to go. And as you see, we're going to go over here, and we're going to check out... Okay, I guess not. Oh, that's why. I I built my Oberon, and it sets that color, so I had to switch it. But anyways, as you guys can see, I'm building a Carrier Prime. My chassis and systems are building. I got a form building. And I'm just about to go into the Jordis mission. And here, I just like stopped and just thought it'd be okay like to listen to this because I've never seen this shit. You get the Atlas blueprint from this mission, like I said earlier. But I figured, you know, there's something like I figured, oh, okay, it's going to lock another mission or something. So I just want to do it and see what the hell is going on with that mission itself. But as you can see, there's my Volt blueprint. There's my Volt prime systems. I don't need any more polymer bundles, but I still need more circuits. It's about 200 more. Shouldn't take long. I might make a, another short video. It might be the same place and everything, considering, you know, I just, yeah, don't want to go through everything, and I'll just farm up, or I just might not record it. I'll just do it off thing and build it. But, yeah, this is DJ signing off. Me and my Kubro and my badass companion there. But, yep, it's